Let's see one question from Laplace transform. Find the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t e power t multiplied by sine t by t. So we'll break this question into pieces and then we'll finally reach to this Laplace. So what we'll do, first of all we'll find the Laplace of sine t. Now you know Laplace of sine a t is a divided by s square plus a square. A here is 1 so it will be 1 divided by s square plus a square. Now we'll use the division by t property which says if we divide by t sin t divided by t if we divide by t then we integrate from s to infinity of whatever is the Laplace transform of the numerator so Laplace transform of numerator we have already found that is 1 upon s square plus 1 so we will integrate this with respect to s so we will get tan inverse s from s to infinity so this is tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse s tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s further we know that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2 so we can write this as cot inverse s so so far we have found the Laplace of sine t divided by t. Now here is a multiplication with e power t. That means we will use the first shift. So Laplace of e power t sine t by t will be. First shift says that if we multiply by e power a t replace s. Uh, in whatever you are applying the first shift here we are applying first shift on sine t by t so we know Laplace transform of sine t by t is this now if you are multiplying this by e power a t replace this s by s minus a so cot inverse I will replace s by s minus a a here is 1 because e power a t a is here is 1 so simply replace s by s minus 1 if you are multiplying by uh, e power it now we have to integrate from 0 to t so Laplace of integrals Laplace of integrals which is here integral of 0 to t sine t by t dt how we find that if we are integrating once then we simply divide by s of whatever is the Laplace of the remaining thing uh, remaining thing that means the integrand whatever we are integrating we have already found the Laplace transform of that thing simply divide that by s so cot inverse s minus 1 divided by s will be your final answer if we were divi uh, integrating this twice then we will get s square integrating is thrice then you will get s cube and so on so Simple uh, sort rules we applied in this question. First the Laplace of sine t, then the division by t property, then the first shift and then the Laplace of integral which simply says if you are integrating once, just divide this by s to get your required Laplace transform.